There we go. Now you should be able to hear me. Good afternoon, Pio Nation. I hope you are doing well. My name is Matt Willing. You're watching me. So we have our League of Legends team going up against Truman State University in College League of Legends. Uh, we're just getting everything trying to figure out in the lobby, and it's a chaotic mess with my students throwing jokes about coin rosters. We're, we're trying to figure it out, but I think we're good on the lobby. So we're going to get into the draft very soon, I think. So we'll do all the intro stuff in just a little bit. That's messed up. Hold on. There we go. Trying to make sure we got everything good here for the draft picks and bands. Marietta will be on the blue Shall side. Tuesday will be on well? the red side. Obviously, Marietta is going to ban uh, the Caitlyn right away. Life is too short for fear. We're going to see. Interesting. The one state's going to ban it a Lowy. I don't think he's going to that a lot. So? Marietta will ban the Yoni. See what Marietta will prioritize. Right, or in time. They're gonna take the Lux right from the get-go. So interesting if that's gonna be short Lux or mid Lux. Trey has been trying to do some flex picking. Seems like Truman State is looking to take away the Tristana. I know last week Marietta used Tristana in the mid. State going to go with the Sichuani in the jungle. Band for Troop 8. Ah, oh, come on. And What's the worst the that chips. could happen? Nautilus. 
a true mistake gonna go okay so that's a mid Tristana with an ADC Kaiser. At least I think. At this point I don't know. So it looks like uh, Radio Soul will be playing Lux. Yeah, that that's exactly what's going to be. This is going to be interesting. It's a little bit more AP heavy for the team. I mean, Camille does AD, so I think that's going to be fine. Alright, so I think we have everything set. Alright, trying to get a couple of audio issues here up here. I'm not so sure if, if the audio settings changed on me when we did our Dave Giving stream a couple days ago. Check things here. Since we have a, a minute to make sure everything's good. To make sure the game set properly. That let's do that. Noise gate. All right, let's see here. It should be better, which is odd because the settings are the same as they were a while back. So I'm not so sure what's changed. But all right, we'll just have to keep an eye on it and see if the, uh, the audio settings are working properly. Or other thing, in my knowledge, mixer maybe that got mixer looks okay. That looks good. All right. So while we're waiting, uh, let's go over a couple of things. So first of all, let's go over who we're playing in our match today. So in the top lane, we're gonna have Junior Bryce Hateman Scrimpo. At jungle, we're gonna have Junior Tyler Salanitro Cilantro. At mid, we will have sophomore Alec Juan oh ho ho. At the ADC, we will have senior Steph Saunders Radio Soul. And at support, we're going to have junior Bethany Holstein Maxi Boo. And then we have our coaches, uh, head coach Derek Games, James Grump, and our League of Legends coach Glitch. And then, we, of course, we have uh, Kevin Johnson, who will be out from time to time as well. All right, let's go over a couple of quick announcements. So, first, we do want to give a shout out to HyperX for being the official peripheral sponsor for Mary to College Esports. Uh, they've helped provide our facility with keyboards, mice, headsets, uh, mouse pads. Uh, the quality is great. If you would like to get your own HyperX gear, uh, please be sure to go to hyperx.gg slash MarietaES. The QR code is up on your screen. Uh, also want to give a shout out to Over the Moon Pizza for their support uh, every Tuesday. They will have a Mary to College night where you can go on there to the restaurant on Front Street and get a good deal on pizza, uh, drinks, desserts, all sorts of stuff. They will have their Switch, which will have like Super Smash and Mario Kart. They'll air our matches that we have on Tuesdays. So if you're not doing anything on Tuesdays, go check them out uh, on Front Street. We also want to take a minute to thank everyone for their support. And I did not get that image set up here. So let me. Uh, where is that? There we go. I want to take a minute to thank everyone 
uh, for your support during our day of giving this past Tuesday. Uh, we were able, during our 15 hour stream, we were able to raise over $1,000 from among five donors. And there was also a little competition among all of the varsity team to see which one could have the highest participation rate among alumni. And since we're a relatively new program, we don't have a lot of these alumni. So uh, we won that and won an additional $2,000. I'm sorry, $1,000 for a total of $2,115. So thank you so much uh, for your support during that. Uh, this takes us one step closer to raising enough funds for our computers that we're trying to get for our esports facility. With our growing roster, we want to try to make sure that all of our students uh, would have the opportunity to in the room. But, all right, we are getting things set up. And I didn't realize that the uh, audio was already on. I thought that was muted, but I guess not. Oh, I know why. But, okay, so good there. So let's get underway. This is what happens when I had to mute and unmute stuff because of our day of gaming stream. Because we did stream a couple of League of Legends games. I had to make sure they were properly unmuted. But that's all right. We're getting back to the swing of things and getting all the settings and configurations uh, set up properly. So I think you should be able to, the audio should be better, should be able to hear everything. Uh, if not, I'll try to make adjustments. We are on a three minute delay with our stream, by the way. Uh, that's just to make sure there isn't any stream sniping that goes on. So if you do notice something, I will see it and I'll adjust it, but you might not notice a difference until three minutes after pointing it out. But it's looking like Marietta has been putting out some deep wards. You're the, able to chat, but there we go. But yeah, Marietta has put down a deep ward into uh, Truman State's uh, red uh, buff. So with that, it's going to be pretty obvious that Truman State will start over at the uh, the blue buff. And meanwhile, it looks like Cilantro will also start at his blue buff. Settle down for now. It'll be interesting to see this bot lane matchup. I know Radio Soul has been working on more AP champions. We saw her play the uh, Seraphine quite a bit last week. Now we're seeing on the left, so we'll see how that goes since this matchup with the Kaisa. Actually, I need to change that. There we go. That looks better. We're already seeing an attempt onto uh, the middle. We're seeing, looks like Cilantro flashed in to make a play, but uh, was able to get away. But there's going to be a gank attempt in the top lane. Sejuani going straight for Scrimpo. Getting stunned and locked up. And first blood is going to go to Truman State. We're seeing an early gold advantage by Truman State by getting that first blood. Uh, Shrimpo is going to teleport back in and try to keep up on his CS. Well, Max Boots trying to take some hits for Radio Soul so she can continue to uh, CS in lane. Root does come out onto Kaiza, getting some damage in. Well, Cilantro is looking to make a play. It's going to force the flash from the Kaiza. Going to get spotted out by the Scuttle Crab Ward, but will retreat to their jungle.
You're seeing, even with that one kill in the uh, top lane, Trippo is back a ahead in CS. In fact, if we look at gold, he's just dead even in gold with the Ornn. Does get knocked up and stunned. And interesting that he went with Ignite and not Flash. So he isn't going to be able to flash away from any gank attempt. That is going to... It's a little bit of a risk, but he's trying to play a more aggressive uh, play style, it looks like. Kripo is looking to make a play onto the Ornn, getting very low. Pops the Ignite, and the Ignite ticks will finish him off. So the Ignite does pay off for Snippo getting that solo kill in the top lane. Well, we see mid lane oh is going very well we look at gold difference already about a, over 300 gold lead uh in the mid lane for him it looks like we may see another gank attempt in the top lane cilantro gets the uh the wrap in place but because the Orn's under tower, Slauncher's taking a lot of damage. It's going to have to fall back and can't really follow through uh, on the gank attempt. But Sejuani is going to be coming in. Does roll away. Flashes in to try to get the stun onto Shrippo. But Cilantro is there to help. And that's going to divert Sejuani's attention. It looks like everyone's going to get away scot-free. Oh, he's trying to put some damage onto Tristana. Gonna have to force her to leap away and just help expand his gold lead even more by using that range to just zone Tristana out. But Tijuani is nearby, maybe looking to make a play, but doesn't have flash up. He'll be waiting for an opportunity for Oho to jump in. Or get reach out just a little too far. If he pushes too far, but Cilantro is also in play. Pink's coming out. We might see a fight uh, in that mid lane. Or maybe not. Maybe we won't see, but Sejuani is waiting very patiently. And a great ultimate by Oho. Going to try to take down Tristana and will do so. But Sejuani is going to be looking to take him down. But Oho is putting a lot of damage and will force Sejuani away. And actually Tristana flashed from that, but still got hit by the ultimate and went down. And meanwhile, Marietta will be seizing this first dragon. The launcher will smite it, and Marietta secures that Cloud Drake. That little extra movement buff is going to go a long way. That's going to give Cilantro a chance to catch targets. They even give Oho a chance to get away. Dodges the ultimate and will flash out of it. going on in the, the bot lane a little behind the cs but i mean it makes sense for an ap champion to be a little bit uh behind it. caution pings coming out left and right telling tristana hey you need to back off because trimpo was coming by and that ward by the uh rift herald probably saved tristana
are seeing everyone getting to level six or higher, so ulti more ultimates will be in play. But right now, with the CS differentials and a couple of kills, Marietta is now up by just a little under 1,000 gold. You see some engaging going on in the top and bottom lanes. And the horn's going to be coming out. Does pop the ultimates, though. Sejuani's going to be coming in. But will use the... Uh, the hooks there, whatever you call it, to get away. But we see the rest of the Pioneers following suit. The Lancho flashes, but doesn't quite get in range to make a play. He's hoping to pull the Rapid and use an ultimate to stun, but everyone will back off. Or will they? Sejuani is still hanging around. Laser comes out for Radio Soul. Gets a little bit of damage onto uh, Alistar and forces the heal from Kaiza. So now we may see an engage onto Shrimpo again. Gets knocked up, but Cilantro is going to be coming in. But we do see that Shrimpo will fall. Ultimate does catch Cilantro, but Oho is there in play. Their ultimate comes out. Double ultimate, and Orn's going to fall. Sejuani leaves away, flashes over. Will they continue to chase? I don't think so. They will just maybe go back onto the Rift Herald and take it. But great awareness by Oho to go in there and and help avenge Scrimpo's death. Taking out some wards. But yeah, it's still a pretty close game. It's about a 900 gold difference. So Marietta does have the lead. And... Right now, Tristana is going to try to take down Cilantro. Will do so, but Shrimpo is in place. And tries to leave play, but the Ignite Ticks will get... Actually, it was the poison damage from Cassiopeia that got the kill. So it is a one-for-one -one trade, but Marietta does secure the Rift Herald in that process. We see Sejuani uh, by that bottom brush. Maybe looking to make a play. Ultimate's about to come online. But Cilantro is down there as well. I think they're suspecting that Sejuani is nearby. The next Drake is going to be up in about 23 seconds. It's not a Cloud Drake. It's just the way the UI is set up. There's going to be chasing down Tristana. Going to pop that Rift Herald in the mid lane to put some pressure there. Meanwhile, Sejuani was looking to make a play in the, the bot lane, but don't think the Pioneers are buying it. Meanwhile, Oh and Cilantro are going to put some pressure on this tower. They're going to try to get the jump onto her and pop the ultimate and do finish her off. Horn's going to be popping the, uh, the horn. Does get the knockup and the kill. So we're just another one for one trade and kills. Now uh, Cilantro will be heading towards down the uh, bottom river. Maybe looking to start up the Drake. Yeah, they will start up the Hextech Drake. I think this will go uncontested. Marietta will secure that Drake. And it looks like we're going to get Ocean Drake to the remainder. They're looking to try to get a jump onto the Owl Star. Cilantro comes in. Rakan's going to try to get the knockup. Blastcone's going to get Rakan away, but 
trying to tries to flash through and fails. Cilantro will pop the ultimate to secure the kill onto Alistar. But Cilantro is going to I'm not sorry, Scrimpo is going to see the Sejuani. He's getting stunned. Thorn's gonna be charging in. Trying to slow them down. The Scrimpo does not have flash available. So he's trying to delay as much as he can. Rakan comes in with a knockup. And takes down Sejuani, and the rest of the team will collapse onto Orn. So a two for zero. Kudos to Scrimpo to staying alive as much as possible to give the rest of the team enough time to go in and rescue him. So now Marietta is up by almost 4,000 gold. Less than 15 and a half minutes in this game. Scrimpo just trying to take down a bit of the tower. Teleport's coming out for Orn. All things are going on in the mid lane. Continue to put some pressure. Marietta will secure that tower in the mid lane. First tower fallen in the game. Might be a uh, possible engage up here. Rakan did come by, but they're going to roam around. At least put a ward by... Uh, Red buff, and they're going to spot out the Sejuani right away. Great ward placement. Kerpa's going to have to back off. Austin Pings are coming out. They don't, because Truman State does not know where Cilantro is. Interesting Shrimpo on that uh, Camille getting very far ahead. A lot of CS. If we look, but hold on. Oh, he's trying to get some damage onto Tristana and will take her down using the ultimate. Meanwhile, Rakan's going to engage onto Kaisa, forcing the flash. The launcher is trying to make a play, does get the grip in and pops the ultimate for a stun. But there's just not enough damage. I have spoken too soon. The laser from downtown. Takes down the Kaiser. Another tower goes down and Sejuani tries to go engage and goes, you know what? Never mind. And tries to retreat. Meanwhile, Marietta will contest this bottom tower. Meanwhile, Maxibu is trying to just push uh, the Alistar away and will do so. And it's another tower. So in a very short amount of time, Marietta secures three towers. And they expand their gold lead by about 7,000 gold. And let's just see where all that gold is going. We see oh, with over 8,000 gold. Oh, yeah, over 8,000. And Tristan hasn't, hasn't even hit, hit five yet. Um, Radio Souls are over 6,000. Scrimpo's at 6,300, Cilantro's 6,500. Everyone is ahead in gold in their respective lanes. Maximus ahead, the Alistar. The Ocean Drake's up in 30 seconds. Truman State is trying to set up for that dragon. But Marietta is starting to fall into place. Uh, Scrimpo is going for Rift Herald, but does have Teleport if needed to. But Marietta has the area severely warded. I mean, just look at all the wards in that area. Laser comes out and that takes Alistar very low health. Tries to get away, but will go down to Cilantro. Meanwhile, Scrimpo is going to be chasing down Orn, and Orn will get away. That's going to give Marietta the chance to go straight for the Ocean Drake. The first take care of that, uh, 
Pink Ward first. This should be a free dragon for Marianna. That'll be their third dragon for this game. I would see Oh, trying to engage. Pops the ultimate, but misses. But Shrimpo is going to come in there. Pops the ultimate. Flashes out. Oh, does get one kill. But it looks like it will get the shutdown. Tristana's going to be chasing after Shrimpo. Laser's going to come out. Take Alistar down to half health. Knock up by Rakan. The root catches. Uh, I think got the Alistar, but it does go down. And meanwhile, they're continuing to chase down Tristana. But taking turn hits in the process. Shrimpo barely survives. Now they're trying to take down Sejuani, and it's going to be a 3 for 1 in the Pioneer's favor. But yeah, they will back off, but they will expand their goal even further to, oh, to about 7.5 thousand gold ahead, 20 and a half minutes in this game. I mean, we are seeing substantial improvements to the, our, to the League of Legends team. I mean, how many push-ups are they doing? How many sit-ups? What kind of juice are they drinking here? And they are eyeing the Baron? Nah, they're eyeing that top tower. No, they're going for straight for the Baron. With that kind of gold lead, they're going to start it up. Sejuani is going for the red buff. They have to... Do they know that Marietta's going for the bear? I don't think they know. Grim State will secure the mid tower, but Marietta will secure the Baron. And they're going to go straight for the mid lane. And the rest are going to collapse in the top lane with the Baron buff. And they're just like... Uh, yeah, they got to run. Marietta will secure that top tower, and they'll see how much more they can get with that Baron buff. Oh, yeah, and they had a Rift Herald, by the way. Forgot about that. So they're just going to use that to put a lot of pressure on the tower. Get it down to about three quarters of its health. Teleport is going to be coming in. Laser comes out to get the Alistar very low. And actually, as the Orin finishes off, Ultimate's going left and right. Rakan's getting the charm in. Cilantro's going to pop the Ultimate. Root's coming out. And Stripper with a double kill. And they're looking for more. That is so far 3 4 0 in the top lane. And they still got the Rift Tail. Going to get one more charge out of it. And that's going to be the Inhibitor Tower. They're straight going straight for that Inhibitor. And with 3 down and the Baron buff. And the Rift Tail is still alive! They're going to get another charge out of it. They're going to try to close out the game right here. The one Nexus Tower is down. Two Nexus Towers are down. But the team might look at the retreat. Ward Ultimate is coming up. But so is the laser. Gets a lot down. But we've seen uh, Sejuani gets a double kill. But Marion is not out of it just yet. Okay, they're out of it. It's just Radio Soul that's left that's running away. So Marietta went all in. They got the two Nexus Towers down, but four of them will die in the process. But that's still a huge push. Sejuani trying to take out Radio Soul. Gets a root off. And does get the shutdown on Radio Soul. So that will stagger the team a little bit and give Truman State a chance to kind of regroup. But... Marietta is starting to respawn. And now Truman State's going to have to deal with Super Minions in the top lane. And they can't leave it alone because the Nexus is exposed. All it's going to take is a good distraction. And maybe Scrimpo may go for like a, a backdoor teleport to finish off the Nexus very quickly. Oh, by the way, Ocean Drake's going to come in like 40 seconds. So that's a thing too. So once again, that's going to put Truman State in a tough position because... They're going to try to go down and contest this, but they can't have all five go down because Super Minions are heading their way. Shrimpo is heading up there as well. Say, so, yeah, I'm going to try to win the 1v1 and just finish the game. Without towers in place, Shrimpo's just going to 
trying to do the 1v1. Meanwhile, Mariana's going to keep the rest distracted. Aho gets three caught in the stun. Cilantro popping a stun. And we're seeing the knockups come with Rakan. The laser is going to help finish off Alistar. Strippo is 1v1ing the Orn. And the Orn flashes away but will fall. And that's going to allow Strippo to just go in and finish off the Nexus. And with that, the Pioneers will take game one of this series. But just a very good performance by the Pioneers that they get game one. I'm already getting an invite for the second game. Are they ready to start? Just waiting for me? I think they're just waiting for me. But we might not even go to a break, folks. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to go to a break because I think there's like, yeah, we're ready to for the next game here. And it looks like this time, um, Truman State ha will do, okay, got to close out this one first to make sure that's this. Okay, should be good. Making sure everything is set before they start. Everyone's in the lobby, but yeah, I don't think we're going to take a break because I think the team is ready to go. I mean, granted, this is the spectator mode was a three minute delay, so they've already had a couple minutes to kind of get into a, a break and relax and be ready. But I think everyone's already gun ho for game two, or at least Marietta is. I don't know about Truman State, but I think ready checks are coming out this time. Truman State's going to be on blue side, Marietta's going to be on the red side, and ready checks are coming out so. Yeah, we're not getting a break, folks. I'm sorry. We're going to have the next game, right? A bounce. They both said they're ready. Now. Tyrant. All right. So, Ruben State will ban Irelia first. Marietta will still ban the Caitlyn. Passive P is being banned. Yone is being banned. Yeah, Truman State did not like Ohoho's Cassiopeia. And then the Camille will be banned. They did not like Scrimpo's Camille in the top lane. That's for sure. And Zinja will still be banned by the Pioneers. So what will Truman State take first? Will they first pick the Tristana? Yes, they will. They do want that Tristana mid. But that's going to open up a lot of possibilities. Marion is going to go straight for that Seraphine. And they're going to take the Amumu. I think they wanted the Seraphine in the first game and that was banned away. So they're going to be like, you know what? Let's take it now while we still can. Truman State's still going to go with the Sejuani. Interesting they're going to keep this similar composition so far from what they had in Game 1. I would think they would want to make some adjustments. This time they're hovering over the Ash for bot lane. So they will grab that. That might have been either they wanted the Ash ADC or maybe they knew that Maxibu did play Ash support last week. And did not want to go up against that. But we will see the Rakan in the bot lane. Max will be playing very well. Going in with the knockups, the charms. They work very well with their play style. Alright, so Marietta is going to take away the Jax. And Truman State will take away the Garen. And interesting that Marietta takes away the Pike. Pike is so much fun. He, he is so much fun. And they're taking away the Zack, so... There's four 
of the well, at least three of the bands are top legs. Irelia can be both mid and top, but they're definitely trying to limit Scrimpo's uh, pool. And we're gonna see action coming up. Akshan, action, I, I don't remember how you pronounce it. But he's coming out, that's for sure. And we're gonna see it looks like a Morgana support. But now all that's left is the top laner. Unless Truman State really throws a some kind of curveball. And it is going to be a set top lane, at least I think. I think all that's left is Marietta's top lane, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be action in the mid. And they're going to go with an Olaf top. That is interesting. Like we've seen him in early game jungle, but it's been a it's been a while since I've seen uh, top Olaf. All right, that is what we are going to get, folks. All right, so we're just gonna wait for the three minute delay. Then we will have things the way for the game. I'll tell you what, folks. Since we did not really get much of a break in the um, in between games, we'll just go ahead and take our break now, just to give you guys a chance to get up, walk around, get something to drink, and then we'll get right back into the game once it starts. So don't go away. We'll be back for game two in just three minutes.
All right, and welcome back. We are loading up into the game right now, so I'm just going to make sure that everything is good. Make sure I have all of the uh, things set up here. All looks okay. So let's get things underway here. Marietta College versus Truman State University. This time, Truman State will be on the blue side. Marietta will be on the red. Marietta took game one in a commanding fashion. So we will see how they play here in game two. Marietta may be looking at a possible invade. They're just kind of hanging out and they're going straight for Morgana. They're like, hello, they're going to get the catch on her and the hit. And they're just poking down a bunch of damage. And first blood will go to Marietta. So that's that level one invade. Cilantro is just hanging around by that red buff. And the thing is, Truman State was starting to head towards there, but Scrimpa was heading by going, no, 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 no. You're not going up here. You're not going to try to get a ward on us. And, oh, -ho, maybe, uh, yeah, it puts a ward by the blue buff so they know where uh, the Sejuani is going to start up. Oh, my goodness. Are we going to see... We're seeing a red buff invade by Marietta. They get the root onto Maximum, but they're not worried about it. So this is real gutsy, but I think it's going to pay off. So Sejuani is going to go for the red buff in the top uh, jungle. And Marietta will be aware of it because they did place a ward there. Yeah, so now, but this does mean that Sejuani is going to be looking for an early game uh, gank. This time, though, Scrimpo has Flash and Ghost. So if Sejuani tries to move in there, he's got uh, Scrimpo's got a couple of tools to get away. He jumps in, tries to get the knock up, and will dash back. Meanwhile, Ohoho is just dominating the CS in the uh, mid lane, almost doubling Tristana's. That trying to put some damage out onto Scrimpo. Just not getting the jump onto Oh Ho Ho. Mantra still clearing out some camps. I mean, Sejuani waited a very long time up there to, to make a play and didn't really get anything out of it. So Cilantro continued to uh, CS in the jungle. That does put him slightly ahead. Action, trying to get some damage out. Going to swing around the tower. Meanwhile, Cilantro is going to get the jump in. Forcing the flash from both sides. Tristana flashes away. Leaves, but since Cilantro flashes right on top of Tristana and gets the kill. Oh, we'll get the assist for that as well. Oh, Sejuani is looking to make a play in the bot lane. Changing going on in the top lane. Crimpa will be popping Ghost and uh, Corrupting Potion to stay alive. Well, Seth's looking to try to get engaged onto Shrimpo, getting very low. But that is really good patience from Trippo 
to not flash away from that. I, if I were in that same position, I probably would have flashed. So great awareness from Scrimpo to know that he can still survive and not need to burn his flash. Meanwhile, Cilantro is in place. Going to be clearing that ward. But it looks like Set backed away, giving Scrimpo a chance to get some CS there. Cilantro will start invading the jungle just a little bit, or at least get a, uh, a pink ward over there. Was continuing to fade the jungle a bit, but didn't look for an opportunity to make a play. See, Set's going to clear that ward, and you may see, yeah, great knock up there by Maxi Boo. And Radio Soul will flash away. And it looks like bot lane will get a uh, will survive. Just only have to burn a flash, but cilantro is down there. Maybe looking to get the jump onto uh, the Sejuani. They're gonna clear that pink ward. We're seeing a lot of hovering around the mountain drake. They're going to start it up. They spot the Sejuani. Down by Krugs. Ariana will secure that Drake. You know, we do see some pressure going on in the top lane. Shrimpo's a little bit behind, but I think once uh, Olaf gets a couple items, it will be okay. But right now, Marion is up by a little over a thousand gold. We're seven minutes into the game. That's just because of the two kills that they got. All went to Cilantro, by the way. But we're going to see if he can use those early kills to make some plays, which he has done, but... I want to see more plays. Training going on in the top lane. Although Strippo is starting to get uh, a little bit ahead, letting that shield back out, but now they're trying to get the root onto Maxi Boo. Does get the knock up in, flashes away, does end up going down. There's here a flash and exhaust being used uh, by the bot lane. Marietta had to use a flash and a heal, but just was not enough to survive. Meanwhile, we see Sejuani looking to make a, a play onto Crimpo, but will get away. But Cilantro is nearby, pinging the Rift Herald. And since Set is very low and having to back away, they may look to contest the. Uh, the Rift Herald. And we're seeing Ohoho and Maxibu already come into position to help. So we got four of the Pioneers by the Rift Herald. So they should be able to clear this. Ohoho is just kind of guarding the only entrance that Troop and State could use to go after them. Ariana will secure that Rift Herald, so we'll see where Cilantro is going to play it. I'm going to guess mid lane. Immediately pops it in the mid lane. While well, we see bot lane getting, uh, for Truman State, getting some tower plating as well. Ash Arrow goes out. And it whiffs. Well, that was a good try. Seth's trying to engage onto Scrimpo. Bay is going to pop Ragnarok. 
still very low on health though. Has to use Flash to get away too. We're seeing a little even on CS, but it, Finch Crimpo is struggling a little bit more on the Olaf compared to the Camille from game one. And we see Sejuani coming in to defend that bot tower. Set looking to put some pressure on the tower with a minion wave coming in. We're getting very low on health. We're gonna have to be a little careful. Oh. Oh my goodness. Just all the CC being used. But Truman State was able to dodge most of it, but. Marietta was going for the Wombo combo, forces the flash. The Ash Arrow comes out onto Maximu, gets the root onto Seraphine, but Cilantro popping the ultimate, does get the kill, and Seraphine will get a kill. Meanwhile, wait a minute, where, what, what, what happened there? Apparently, there was something going on in the mid lane. Well, while that's going on, time, we got, time out, time out. We gotta go back, we gotta go back and see this. We gotta see what happened over here as well. So. The action kind of moving in and taking down Tristana and Sejuani at the same time. Uh, meanwhile, looks like Marietta did secure the uh, the tower over there as well. But, okay. Just had to throw both kills at, uh, there because they all happened at the same time and I lost track of what happened. Meanwhile, Marietta is going to go for the Ocean Drake. But Truman State is looking to contest. But they're going to get the root onto Tristana. And Cilantro will smite away. But we see the rest of Truman State trying to move in. They do take down Cilantro. And oh, it looks like it's gonna go down. So it's a two for one, but Marietta does secure the Drake. But it's still looking at about a 3.5k gold lead for the Pioneers. Getting the Ocean Drake, getting the first tower in the mid lane. And still seven kills to three, so they're doing very well. And we are just seeing a ton of wards in that bottom river. I mean, let, let's look here. One, two, three, four, five. Six wards for Truman State and three wards for Marietta. That's a lot of wards. Looks like things have settled down just a little bit. So we're seeing Shrimpo popping Ghost. Knowing that Cilantro is going to be able to come in to make a play. Pops the ultimate. Cilantro tries to jump away. But I don't think he's going to survive. Uh, well, never mind. Well, never mind. I first thought he was going to survive because he flashed through the rock. But then there was... Oh, ho, ho. Like, okay. Double. Never mind. He, he died. I see Botlane's trying to get the jump onto Max Boo. Does pop the double charm coming out. Max Boo does get exhausted, but will leap away. Gets Ash Arrowed. See the root coming out for Radio Soul. Max Boo is going to fall. Tristana's going to be jumping in and putting a bunch of damage on her. So that's going to be two more kills for uh, Truman State and a shutdown for the Tristana. We do see Truman State is trying to close the gap. Now about a 2.5k goal difference 14 and a half minutes in. But meanwhile, we do see some pressure. Well, there was pressure in the mid lane, but uh, everyone's backing off at this point. Rift Herald is up, and we are starting to see some things around. They're looking to try to get a jump onto Cilantro. 
taking a lot of damage, does not have his ultimate. Oh, she's going to try to come in to make some plays, but it's just not going to be enough. A little bit of disrespect. Maybe being out there too much in the open and Marietta just not be able to respond to the collapse. So now Truman State's going to start on the Rift Herald. And Oho is going to have to just let that go. There's not much that they can do about it. Ash Arrow comes out in the engage and does miss. And Truman State will secure the Rift Herald. He tries to go for Guru, doesn't quite get it. Now they're going to put some pressure on the tower. Has to be taking a lot of damage. You're going to have to back off. Austin Pings are coming out for Truman State. So far, it's been a pretty even matchup in the top lane. So we're going to see Showstopper coming out for set. Kripo has yet to pop his ultimate, does flash around, and then pops the ultimate to secure the kill. And uh, it was there just in case, but it's like, okay, I guess you don't leave me. I'll just clear this ward. But we see Sentry in the bot lane, looking to, to help the bot lane put some pressure into that tower. And Cilantro is trying to move into position. Ocean Drake is going to be up in 20... No, it's not Ocean Drake. It's Hextech Drake. I'm sorry. Hextech Drake is going to be up 20 seconds. They're going to use that Rift Herald in the bot lane to put some pressure. One charge should be enough to finish off the tower. But the rest of the Pioneers are starting to collapse uh, in the bot area. Cilantro is going to get the jump and pops the ultimate onto Morgana. Does get the kill. The charge is going to come out. Doesn't connect with anyone. See, oh, oh, she's going to try to make a play. Pops the ultimate and just does some damage to Sejuani, but not enough to finish off Ash, who's extremely low on health. But that's going to give Marietta the opportunity to take this bottom tower. And they may rotate over to the Hextech Drake. Well, uh, Ohoho is looking to get the jump onto Tristana. And Mariana will start that Hextech Drake. Ash Air comes out and does connect. So that is going to confirm Truman State's suspicions that Mariana is going to start the Drake. But I don't think there's anything they can do about it. Mariana will secure it. And they're just going to try to get out of there. And take Scuttle Crab along with them. We're seeing Oh ho maybe looking to make a play on the set. Word pings do go out. Well, where sets located? Right now, everyone's just continuing the farm. It doesn't seem like there's a clear objective of where everyone's going for just yet. But then again, Hexact Drake won't be up for another four minutes. Uh, Baron will be up in less than a minute, but Marietta is up by. Over 4,000 gold, almost 4,500. I don't know if that's enough of a difference to go for the Baron right from the get go. Let's see, it looks like Cilantro and Oho went back to buy up uh, and start finishing up some items. Now, Maximus is just kind of doing vision control and take away the blue buff from uh, Truman State. But they're going to try to get the jump onto set. Ash Arrow comes out and does catch uh, Olaf, but will pop Ragnarok to negate it. Meanwhile, Ash is going to try to move in to make a play. And action is going to be jumping onto Tristana. Pops the ultimate to knock him away, but it will not be enough. Tristana will fall. 
but we're seeing oh ho ho on that action five one and three already two completed items to see if he's going to be very scary if not already Things coming out. Marietta may be looking to collapse onto that top inner tower. They will take away the blue buff. Took a little time to do it, but they, they finally grab it. Rid of the pink ward. But they are converging in these top and mid lanes, trying to push minions down there. Actually, they're putting pressure in all three lanes now that I look at it. We're doing it's like it's a one-three-one split. Charm's gonna come out. And Ash is going to get away from it. Has to use Cleanse to, to get out of it. But the tower will go down. Solange is going to try to move in. The pop Use the ultimate. Tristana is going to fall. Everyone's getting very low on health. Morgana gets rooted and gets taken down. That's a two for nothing. But here comes Set. And Set's going to have to flash away. Use the Showstopper and takes down Cilantro. And where Khan's going to go down, but Scrippo is moving in. Takes down the set. The Root's going to be coming out onto Sejuani. Shutdown is going to go down. But there comes Action. Oh my goodness. He just came out of nowhere. And secured the ace. He's just like, yeah, I'll clean this up. And we'll take down the inhibitor tower and work to take out this inhibitor as well. Looks like he will secure the inhibitor. John's going to try to get the jump up, but actually will swing away. Meanwhile, the rest of the team will start up the Baron. Keep it with uh, oh, ho, ho keeping uh, Truman State distracted. But we're seeing Sejuani is not going to head over. That Oho is just going to continue to distract. But Marietta will secure that Baron. But right now, Marietta is up by almost 10,000 gold. 23 minutes into this game. Hextech Drake is up, and it would be sole point for the Pioneers, so they're going to head straight over for that Drake. But Truman State is going to want to try to start up immediately, denying Marietta the opportunity to get that. But here comes Action. Here comes Cilantro. And they're going to start jumping in. There comes the ultimate from Cilantro. Takes down Morgana. Set's going to fall. Next is going to be Tristana. That's three already down. But Sejuani will grab the Hextech Drake before falling. So while they deny the Hextech soul for Marietta, Marietta will get the ace, and they're just going to ride the minion wave down towards the base. It's just a great collapse by the Pioneers. Now Morgana's coming back up. I think they're only going to just be able to get the, um, just the inhibitor. But we shall see. Are they going to try to close this out? Yeah, they're going to try to continue using that Baron buff to see what they get. Because there's actually minions coming in the bot lane as well. The so one Nexus Tower is followed. A three-person charm and a three-person knockup by Raider Soul and Maxi Boo. That's going to take down the Morgana. Meanwhile, the last Nexus Tower is going to fall. And Marion is going straight for the Nexus with three from Truman State already down. And that is going to be it, folks. Marietta will secure this match two to zero. It all came with that Drake. They, Truman State tried to deny the, the Drake, and they succeeded. They did succeed in denying the Drake, but... Marietta was able to collapse on him, get the ace, move down towards the, the base, get the inhibitor, and there was already super minions coming into that bot lane. 
So they're able to use that Baron buff with the Super Minions to secure the win. So congratulations to the team. So let's see if we can get an interview with one of the players real quick because we like to interview our students when they win a game. So we'll be back in just a minute and see who wants to do an interview.
All right, and welcome back for this interview. Interview. We're not interviewing one person, but we're going to interview the entire bot lane for the team. So go ahead and introduce yourselves. Say who you are. Maxi Boo. Okay. Bethany. Okay. Team Cap. Okay. Support. There. All right. Uh, okay. Peace. So first of all, congratulations. On your you. win, very well executed. Last week, we were talking. I was talking to Bryce about mm -hmm. the first win in a very long time, but now two wins in a row. How does that feel? Okay, so let's talk. The, what has kind of changed over the between this semester and some of the previous semesters? We've been telling you all along that you're definitely better than what your rank says. It's just on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> the accounts, it's not. Rip, yeah, rip account. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, notice that the, and I think a little bit beforehand, that there was a change in what you guys were doing the bot lane because you like to play a lot of Silver or Tristana, mm -hmm. to play like the containers. But now we're kind of seeing this shift where you're kind of being almost like the enchanter in a way, and then you're playing some different things, Ash, or this time bringing out what they were calling. Yeah, I've been right. talking all day. So, <laughs> so what was the the thinking, the the change? I'm like, no, uh -huh. no, never could do that. No, oh, that sounds silly. We and can't say no to our coach. <laughs> and then our coach said, um, we're going to play it. Okay. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, like, yeah. You. Okay, yeah. So, so coach says it, and then yeah. you're going to do what coach says. Yeah. And, and to be honest, coach. it came very natural. Therapy. Also going to be finding something your your play style. All right. So so speaking of glitch, knowing that he's probably watching oh, yeah. this uh -huh. right now, yeah, most likely. How does it feel working with him? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really great because he helps. Like, he's helped giving stuff a lot. Of Didn't really show it there, but okay. Olaf Seraphine I right there know in the mid lane. But you know, Akshan was coming. She's a, she's a lot <laughs> less scared playing. Got a lot more confidence. else you want to say to everyone <laughs> so much All right yes once again congratulations on your your show victory now you're two and two legit two and two not like last, not year, last year where it's the forfeits <laughs> so congratulations but all right so that is going to be it for us today um, we had quite a few matches, but I think we're ready for some rest. Dinner. But yes, yeah. dinner too. Dinner. Yeah, yes. dinner too. So for all the latest updates with with what's going on with Marriott College Esports, please be sure to follow us on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Shoutouts again to HyperX and Over the Moon Pizza for their support. Thank you so much for your follows and your subscriptions, and we hope you enjoy the rest.